Happy New Year, folks. Matt with Eddie's Guitars coming to you, as always, from St. Louis, Missouri. I've got a very significant guitar for you folks to check out today. In fact, probably the most important guitar that we've received in all of 2016, perhaps even longer. This comes from Dana Bourgeois, and this is his D45. Uh, an unbelievable guitar, truly decked out, and uh, really the, the most top choice of tone woods used in this guitar as well. Um, this is a luthier's choice guitar, meaning Dana sort of uh, set aside all the specs as well as the wood choices himself. This is not something that we at Eddie's Guitars were at all involved in the build process of. I will say, however, I've been bothering Bourgeois for probably going on three years now to build a 45 style guitar. And uh, kind of in secret, Dana started this guitar and about halfway through the build process, they contacted us and said, it's in the works, so it's just a matter of time. And I got to tell you, it was worth every minute of the wait. Just a wonderful instrument that it ended up being. Again, this is a D45 with a Primo Brazilian Rosewood. And you can see that the top that we started with here is an absolutely perfect Adirondack spruce top. It's got exceptionally tight grain to it. Just a beautiful blonde color and just perfectly consistent across the entire soundboard. Of course, you can see the 45 uh, abalone purfling going all the way around the top of the guitar, as well as around the fingerboard extension, and also that abalone going right around the uh, sound hole on the rosette there. Uh, there is also uh, abalone purfling on the sides as well as the back of the guitar fully uh, completing the 45 style treatment. You can see it's a very traditional grained ivory bound body, neck and headstock as well, keeping it rather uh, traditional and classic looking. Back and sides of this guitar, like I said, are a master grade set of Brazilian rosewood. And this is just some of the most gorgeous stuff you could ever hope to see on a Brazilian rosewood guitar. Very, very special piece of wood, not only in its appearance, but also in its tone, uh, Dana had mentioned when he was tapping on this set of wood, he was very impressed by the tonal complexity that it had. Uh, again, you can see that uh, purfling going around the back of the guitar and also an abalone back strip going right down the center of the back. Beautiful, beautiful, intricate work there. You can see on the fingerboard here is the Tree of Life uh, abalone and mother of pearl inlay package. Uh, just amazingly intricate inlay uh, on a black ebony fingerboard. It's a 1 and 23 30 seconds nut width, and we've got the 2.2 spacing down here at the bridge. So great for a flat picking kind of style guitar. You can see the Tree of Life inlay ex extending all the way up on the headstock there. That's a Brazilian rosewood headstock veneer with all of that inlay. Of course, the Bourgeois logo all the way up top. They are uh, fully gold Waverly tuning machines that each button has been hand engraved as well. So again, just wonderful detail work there. There's a few very unique and up until this point, one of a kind uh, options that this guitar has. This is not an H-Tone Adirondack top. However, this guitar does feature the wicked thin H-Tone finish on the guitar. Uh, which is, uh, it's, it's very, very thin. It's a rather stiff finish as well and extremely resonant. This also does have the H-Tone Torified Adirondack braces as well. Uh, of course, it's a fully hide glue constructed guitar. Uh, so really a guitar that sounds magnificent today, but a number of years from now, once it's had some mileage put on it, it is only going to get way better. So uh, really a lot to look forward to in this guitar. Truly an investment grade instrument for sure. Uh, so really some wonderful options. A lot of small little details like down here on the feet of the bridge you can see the uh, the little vine inlays there. There's even inlays down on the butt wedge here uh, uh, on the bottom of the guitar as well as the heel cap. And it's actually a flamed mahogany neck as well. So really just wonderful wood choices all throughout this guitar. Uh, and though it is a decked out guitar and, uh, and rather um, blingy, I will say that it's been exceptionally tastefully done. You know, it's not too loud, too gaudy at all. It's really got uh, the execution that Dana is really well known for and being very tasteful. 
We're gonna listen to a little bit of finger picking on this guitar, and then I'm gonna hand it over to my buddy Dustin to do some flat picking on the guitar, kind of get a little bit of range of the tones that this guitar can achieve. So let's go take a listen to it now. <laughs> 